This Warrior Recap is brought to you by GameFace808, Hawaii's headquarters for custom photo sports balls and gifts. Visit them online at GameFace808.com. Also by the Connie Kapila Grill at the Outrigger Reef on the Beach, home of this year's Island Sports Media's Athlete of the Year Award on December 7th. And by Football University, by position, by professionals, by invitation only. Visit them online at footballuniversity.org. Aminawakas and Shakas, it's me, Pukukani, with Pipeline Paradise, reporting for islandsportsmedia.com, your ultimate island-style sports magazine. Four down, one to bowl. That was the mantra all week long for the University of Hawaii Warriors as they welcomed the 8-3 Wisconsin Badgers to town. Hawaii needed one win and they would be in the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. Facing former Hawaii head coach June Jones and the SMU Mustangs, UH fans encouraged to think green and wear green for the game. A crowd of 40,000 plus was on hand rooting on the home team looking for a big win against the Big Ten. Hawaii came out with high hopes moving the ball down the field on the opening drive but failed to convert and that would be the script for the entire evening. The Warriors offense had a hard time finding their rhythm and putting together successful drives. On the other hand, Wisconsin imposed their ground and pound all night long on Hawaii. Running back John Clay for Wisconsin had a huge game running for 172 yards and three touchdowns on the night. Also backup running back Monty Ball almost eclipsed the century mark going for 95 yards of his own and a touchdown. To add insult to injury, three other players players also scored on rushing touchdowns against the Warrior defense, making it a total of seven on the night. Hawaii did show flashes of hope with special teams having a fairly good night. Javante Taylor had a handful of good kick returns as well as Hawaii's only touchdown on the night. Also, freshman punter Alex Dunaki had several great kicks on the night, averaging 49.2 yards per punt. A tough way to end the season as the Warriors were defeated by the Badgers. The final score, Wisconsin 51, Hawaii 10. To end the season on a bright note, it was senior night for several Hawaii Warriors. Family and friends celebrated the players in both pre-game and post-game ceremonies. According to Hawaii's official homepage, 22 seniors were honored. On offense, the seniors included center and captain John Estes, who started his NCAA record 54th consecutive game and is one of six finalists for the Remington Trophy presented to the outstanding center in college football. Also quarterback slash running back Inoke Funaki, who is one of 30 student athletes selected to attend the NCAA Football Coaches Academy. Quote Funaki, it's quite an honor to be among the 30 student athletes who are selected. Coaching is one of my career ambitions and I'm excited to be able to learn from the best in the collegiate coaching profession. Other offense players included quarterback Greg Alexander, wide receiver John Medeiros, running backs Leon Wright Jackson, Jason Rego and Kimo Alo. Offensive line Ray Hisatake, Rafael Yeru, Daniel Johnson, and Aaron Kia. On the defensive side of the ball, the Warriors said goodbye to defense co-captains linebacker RJ Kisokauhane and defensive tackle Rocky Savayanaya, both alumni of IAEA High School, my alma mater, and also linebacker Blaze Soares, the inspiration of Hawaii's defense. Other defense players included linebackers John Fonoti and Joshua Rice, defensive tackles Tuika Tufunga, Chris Leatianga, Antoine Mahaley, Bo Montgomery, and Victor Clore, and also cornerback Viliami Nawahi. Congratulations to all the seniors and continued success in all their future endeavors. On behalf of islandsportsmedia.com, I want to say mahalo to all of you who supported Hawaii football this year. With a strong crop of players returning next year, the 2010 season holds great promise. Stay tuned to islandsportsmedia.com as hundreds of acts and shots are loaded up into the picture gallery weekly from the many different sports events covered by the entire ISM team. Big mahalo going out to the UH football coverage team which included photographers Mike Sullivan, Matt Black and Glenn Yoza. Also huge mahalo going out to reporter Big Wave Dave for all his player interviews and also Russ Cannon for his contribution. And finally mahalo nui loa going out to ISM president Steve Kaji hero who contributed in all phases of our football coverage. Once again, I'm Pu'ukani of Pipeline Paradise Radio, inviting you to check me out daily along with the best in Hawaiian and island music at PipelineParadise.com. Have a shaka kalikimaka and I'll see you all in 2010.